Picture a world untouched by time. A world where the sun rises over vast plains, painting the sky in hues of orange and purple. Early humans, our ancestors, roam this land. They hunt, they gather, they look to the stars with wonder. Life is simple, yet full of mystery. It is in this ancient world, shrouded in myth and legend, that the story of Eve begins. Her tale, passed down through generations, has shaped cultures and beliefs for millennia. Eve's story is not just a story, it's a foundation, a cornerstone of Western civilization and its understanding of humanity's place in the cosmos. From the dusty scrolls of ancient scribes to the towering cathedrals of the modern age, her presence is felt. Her name echoes through time, a whisper of our collective past. But what is it about Eve that continues to fascinate and inspire us? Why does her story, told and retold for centuries, still resonate with such power? Perhaps it is the universal themes her story explores. Themes of creation and temptation, of innocence lost and knowledge gained. These are the fundamental questions that have plagued humankind since the dawn of consciousness. Questions about who we are, where we came from, and what our purpose is in this grand tapestry of existence. Eve's journey, though set in a time long past, mirrors our own. As we delve deeper into the story of Eve, we find ourselves confronted with the eternal questions that her tale brings to the forefront. What does it mean to make a choice? What consequences do our actions have? And how do we reconcile our desires with the rules that govern our existence? These questions, timeless and universal, continue to provoke thought and stir our souls as we navigate the complexities of life. In the book of Genesis, the first book of the Bible, we are presented with the story of creation. God, in all his infinite wisdom, creates the heavens and the earth. He speaks light into existence, separates the waters from the land, and breathes life into the very air we breathe. And then, he creates man. Adam, formed from the dust of the earth, becomes the first human, tasked with tending to the Garden of Eden, a paradise of unimaginable beauty. But Adam is alone. God, in his infinite compassion, sees the need for companionship. From Adam's rib, he creates Eve, the first woman. Together, they are entrusted with the care of Eden, living in harmony with nature and with God himself. Their lives are idyllic, free from worry and strife. The sun rises and sets on a world where innocence reigns, and the concept of sin is yet to be born. S1 Yet within this paradise, a seed of temptation is sown. The tree of knowledge, bearing fruit so enticing, so forbidden, stands as a test of faith. God warns Adam and Eve not to eat from this tree, for to do so would be to know both good and evil, to understand the duality of existence. It is a warning fraught with consequence, a line drawn in the sand between obedience and disobedience. Eve's story, however, is more than a simple tale of disobedience. It's a complex narrative woven into the fabric of human consciousness. It's a story about choice, about curiosity, about the very nature of knowledge itself. It asks us to consider the weight of free will, the burden of consequence, and the price of understanding. It challenges us to look beyond the surface, to delve deeper into the human psyche, and grapple with the complexities of our own existence. The serpent, often seen as a symbol of temptation and deceit, plays a pivotal role in Eve's story. Its cunning words, its subtle manipulations, prey on Eve's innate curiosity. It questions God's motives, planting seeds of doubt in her mind. It suggests that knowledge is power, that to be like God is to possess the ultimate understanding. In doing so, the serpent awakens a thirst for knowledge within Eve, a desire to see beyond the veil of innocence.
Eve's decision to eat the forbidden fruit is often portrayed as the ultimate act of defiance, a transgression against God's will. But what if it was more than that? What if it was a choice driven by a thirst for knowledge, a desire to experience the world in its entirety, both the good and the bad? To truly understand the human condition, must we not embrace both the light and the darkness within ourselves? Eve's story is not just about the fall from grace, but also about the journey that follows. It's about the consequences of our actions, the lessons learned through hardship, and the resilience of the human spirit. It's a reminder that even in our darkest moments, even when faced with adversity, we have the capacity for growth, for redemption, for love.